Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Harrison and this is going to be a Unreal Engine C++ tutorial on how to rotate an actor in your game world. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the final product. Again, there should always be a GitHub link down below in the comments, so if you just want to get the code and move on, you definitely can. Uh, but if not, let's go ahead and continue and uh, move on with the video. Let's go ahead and play so we can look at the final product. So we have this uh, this cube and it's just rotating and we have the values over on our details panel we can just put those back to zero and now it's not rotating or we can go ahead and just change one of the values to one or something and uh now it's just doing that so let's go ahead and recreate that in c uh let me delete that first step create a new actor class new c class actor uh what do we want to call it rotating actor and create the class all right so just created the class for us in the header file um, sure uh, in the header file let's go ahead and create three variables that can be editable anywhere so we can edit those values in the editor itself so start with you property you property allows Unreal Engine to recognize it Uh, set the category so they're all kind of grouped together. Uh, we can call it the movement category. Uh, we want three floats, so the first float will be the pitch value. So we'll be doing pitch, yaw, and roll. It's just X, Y, Z in my head. Uh, but I think rotation is just. Uh, I just copied and pasted those. Um, let's change the variable name. Instead of pitch, we'll set it to yaw. And then instead of pitch, we'll set it to roll. So that's it for the header file. Let's jump over to the CPP file. In the CPP file, in the init function where we set our default values, let's go ahead and set all of those to zero, I guess, just for, just so they're there. All right, so pitch value. That's gonna be ah shoot uh, pitch value is gonna be uh, zero float yaw value again will be the same thing. They're probably default to zero anyways if you don't even set them. So this might not be necessary. I'm not sure, but uh, roll value equals zero f. <clears throat> All right, cool. So now let's jump down on the tick function. We're gonna do everything in the tick function because we want to rotate this every single frame. So maybe you have something kind of in the distance or in the environment or maybe floating around a weapon or object or something. So we want that to have to happen every frame. Uh, what's the first step? I do have my notes right on the side of me to, to kind of mitigate mistakes and you know speed these along. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. So we do want to get a rotator right now. So let's go F rotator. Let's set an F rotator. Uh, new rotation equals F rotator. So this F rotator is gonna take in the three values that we defined above. Uh, pitch value, yaw value, and roll value. Now we wanna set this, now we have to create a quad. So we do f quad equals quad rotation. That's our variable name we're giving it. You can call it whatever you want. Uh, quad rotation. And we're gonna say that f quad equals new rotation. And then add local. Then we go add actor local rotation, quat rotation, false. These are just default values. Zero, um, e teleport type. And that's gonna be none. Actually, let's try to cut out this part right here. I don't think we need that. Let's get this, put this here, and get rid of this variable. Uh, the, the reason why we can't use a rotator in this instance is because we did run into a bug 
where if you use a rotator, an F rotator, and non F quad, it kind of gets stuck at 90 degrees at some in, in some instances. And on the GitHub link, there should be a commented out example of what I'm talking about and kind of the uh, broken code. But let's go ahead and save this and run it. Where is this at? Uh, pitch. All right. Oh, my bad. I right, fix that typo. Go back to it and see if it works. Yes. Um. Uh. False. There is another typo. All right. Compile complete. Let's drag and drop drag and drop the rotator value, the rotator actor in there. I'm gonna add a cube component. Cube, there we go. When you drag in an empty object, it usually kind of goes to zero, 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 I think. So let's drag that guy in here. All right, so we haven't set any values yet, but let's push play. And so it's not doing anything. Let's get out, click it again, go to its root uh, right here, and just go ahead and click, uh, let's just click one, might as well. So now it's moving one unit every frame. So we have a smooth rotating value. Uh, get out of that, click it again, and you could do 45, 100, but then it'll just like go really fast. Let's do 10, and it'll just go really fast. That's kinda cool. Um, click it again, and yeah, so just go ahead, have fun, and see what happens, and yeah, play around with it. So that's it for this video. Th thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.